Hello. In this video, I want to explain to you what a payment plan is. You use a payment plan to set your product price and to specify the way in which your product should be paid for. There are three different payment plan types on Digistore24. The first type is a single payment, where your product price is settled with just one payment. Your customers pay a certain amount once, for example, 20 bucks, and then they receive your product. This is the most common form of payment, even outside Digistore24. The second type is a subscription. Your customers will pay a certain amount at regular intervals and will receive something in return. A good example of this would be a newspaper subscription. You pay $1 a month to have your favorite newspaper delivered to your home every week. Last but not least, you can choose installments. This is normally used when your product is very expensive. For example, if your product costs $1,000, you would encounter the problem that not many customers would be able to pay such a high price in one go. That's why you could also offer installments where the high price is divided into smaller amounts. Instead of paying $1,000 at once, the customer pays $100 over a period of 10 months. You'll receive the same amount in the end, but it will be much more affordable for you and your customers, and most importantly, they'll be more willing to purchase your product. As you may have noticed, the great thing about Digistore24 payment plans is that you can use multiple payment plans for your product at the same time. So with a wide range of payment plans, you can effectively target many different customers. For example, you could offer an online course with two different payment plans, either $10 a month, which is a rather cheap subscription as a payment plan, or a single payment of $250, which is a seemingly more expensive one-off payment, but in return, they never have to pay another cent. And of course, you can add many more settings to your payment plans. For example, which currencies may be used, whether the customer should be granted a test period, volume discounts, and much more. If you want to know how to create a payment plan, click on the video now.